Welcome everybody. This is Tom Randall from Golden Care, and I want to welcome you to this webinar today. We're really excited to uh, to be able to offer these different webinars that we're doing for the Integrity Short-Term Care Initiative. I'm joined today by my partner in crime, Dennis Reiner. And uh, I tell you what, I've been, I'm in my 27th year at Golden Care, and I, I've had the privilege of working with a lot of great people, and Dennis is certainly one of them. I've worked with Dennis probably throughout my full my full time that I've been here at Golden Care, if not uh, just shortly thereafter. So Dennis and I have had the pleasure of working together, designing policies together, and mainly going out and helping agents be successful, uh, helping seniors. And one of the things that uh, Dennis specializes in, he's had the opportunity to to train and do a lot of live webinars for consumers and train, uh, boy, thousands and thousands, probably 100,000 agents at this point uh, that we've had the opportunity to be in front of and, and help help be successful in this field. So today we're going to jump right into it. Dennis, if you're there, let's do a sound check. Tom, I'm here, and um, thanks for those kind words, and uh, right back at you as far as all those uh, uh, you know, working together. It's been yeah. it's a pleasure, and this is a fun a fun time uh, for us in terms of uh, having this opportunity to uh, to share this uh, our experience and share this information. Absolutely. You bet. Thanks, Dennis. And Dennis and I have done a lot of these webinars. I think we did 30 webinars. We're right smack dab in the middle of doing 30 live webinars in the in 25 business days, I think it turned out to be. But we're, we're excited to do that because if anybody knows Dennis or myself, and I, I bore Dennis to tears probably with this, this slide that I use, but it's one of those that, it, to me, I'm very passionate about this. This is something that I've had the pleasure of doing for a long time. And I've seen firsthand how this can really change people's lives to have some type of extended care. So again, stats are stats and everybody, we don't have a crystal ball for each individual person, but the stats do matter for you agents, especially that you understand what you're doing is important. Cause you know what, 70% of folks out there over age 65 are gonna need some type of extended care. And especially when you're talking about short-term care and the policies that we're talking about in this initiative, because people, the claim triggers are much lighter than long-term care, for example. So people use these policies a lot more for things like, you know, hip replacement, knee replacement, fractures, surgeries, and things like that, that long-term care maybe wouldn't delve into. So the stats are overwhelming. There's a ton of people need it. If you're a married couple, boy, 90% chance one of you are going to need it before you die. And 90% of adults out in America have never really had a real discussion with somebody who understands how policies like this can help them. So uh, that last stat was just one we used during COVID. And again, not as a scare tactic for consumers, but mainly for agents to talk about the fact that, you know, that's pretty scary when people are dying in those facilities, 61% of people in a huge nationwide survey said that they would rather die than go to a nursing home. So the only good thing that COVID brought us, and I'm not going to talk about COVID today hardly at all, but the only good thing it brought us is that it did kind of push the demand for for planning ahead and having people have more options if they needed uh, care later on. So that was uh, probably the only good thing, like I said, that, that came out of that. And at the end of the day, we all know the story. We're all on this and Dennis and I will jump back and forth and probably finish each other's sentences as we go. But we all know the story. We know that the costs are there and we'll talk a little bit about that when we do plan design today. But at the end of the day, people are gonna use it. We know we have to find a way to help people pay for it. And we'll talk about the fact that these are indemnity policies, et cetera, that they pay over and above whatever else, anything might be in place with the with the person who buys the coverage. So we have some really nice things to do today across the board. And people don't, we don't sell nursing home insurance, right? It's an important part of what we have. If people need to go to assisted living or nursing homes, it's an important part of the coverage if we can get them through underwriting and we can get it for them. But that's one of the, a whole different story that Dennis maybe can talk about with the shifting market. But we really want to make sure we do a good job at home. And that's going to be the thing you'll see with our home care emphasis as we design these plans. So, Dennis, so I, I'll let you jump in. If you want to talk a little bit, I've got a couple slides uh, on the availability for both our short-term care with this initiative and with our, our uh, home care. Yeah, Tom, thank you very much. And, and you know, this is, a, this is an important uh, webinar because... You know, plan design. There's a lot of flexibility, and uh, again, uh, you know, the flexibility and availability are are really they go hand in in glove. And so you can see here on the map where, with those integrity sponsored products that we have, the GTL Recover Cash, the 
Manhattan offering, which is Omniflex and the Wellaby Essential Care Series, which includes an Essential Care Plus, and Essential Care and, and a, a special limited benefit uh, uh, rider. Uh, Wellaby is uh, fresh out of the gates here, just the tail end of August. And so they're only in 10 states and they'll be adding in five state increments. Uh, so we'll probably see before the end of the year some additional states. And Omni, you can see here that we're in 31 states and soon to be um, the approval just came in. Uh, Tom likes to uh, tease everyone. Um, if you don't know the map of the United States really well, that's Indiana that he's pointing to. And Indiana is coming to board um, uh, tail into September, 1st of October, giving uh, Omni 32 states and probably a couple more. You know, we always have uh, with GTO leading the pack with 35 because they've been out the longest. Um, it's always problematic when we start looking at this map and you see the gray area where we don't have we, we don't have uh, products uh, in the short term care extended care space. And so California, Washington, so on. And then when you go to the home care map and we'll, we'll pick up about having a solution for those states as well. You can see again, uh, the GTL kind of leading again with the most states with their short-term home health care series, Manhattan uh, right behind. And these products are very, very similar. And we're not gonna get into product specifics today uh, as much on the plan design with the home care, uh, but we, we do have a webinar that covers both of these products. And um, the legacy uh, uh, version of Manhattan is in Colorado, Kansas, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and those will eventually become home care, uh, home health care select uh, states as well. And back to that now in blue, where we don't have coverage. And again, you can see where all three products are available. In the previous slide, you can see where they're all available, and you can see where there's some separation um, in terms of where, in, in this this example, where Manhattan has coverage that. Uh, that no one else may um, may have uh, as an example. But we have another uh, standalone home health care product that's a non-insurance. It's more of a membership plan. And in fact, we have a webinar coming up today at, uh, I believe, 2 o'clock Eastern covering the True Freedom Plan, which is available in all 50 states. And the, and the, the importance of all of this is that whether it's extended care, whether it's standalone home health care, or whether it's a, uh, a service membership plan, we're in the problem solving business. And if, if we, we need to have solutions uh, for, for all 50 states uh, to help um, uh, agents to help more clients. And so we believe in that. We call it part of our perfect portfolio of, uh, of having these solutions. So um, as we go forward and talk a little bit more on plan design, it's also important just to kind of set the table here, Tom, and I'll take a, a, a minute here and then let you jump in. Um, uh, as well, because I know we're going to give some examples of, of this, but care costs are not going down. And you can see here, uh, for those of you who are maybe are not as close to this as we are, where we kind of eat, sleep, and drink uh, this this particular, um, uh, these topics, uh, because this is what we do for a living. It's our full-time gig. Um, but cost of care, gosh, back in the day, going back 15, 20 years, I mean, you could see a semi-private room back then was only 3000 a month. And so care costs are going up. A lot of it is not so much the brick and mortar, but it's actually the labor cost because you can see here on the bottom, uh, home health aid, physical therapy, speech pathology, occupational therapy. Uh, home care is where people want to be and they want to age in place. And uh, as such, it's also intermittent, which means you know, when someone goes into a facility, those facility costs you see, they're, they're pretty pretty standard. You're not going to see much variance. Uh, you might see it from state to state, and we have calculators that are out there that we could show you um, the various uh, states. But uh, on the home care side, it's more intermittent. People don't get care every day, and they might get certain services on certain days. And um, the most important thing as you, as you, as you look at this is to know that the that you don't try necessarily to go in and Tom's going to show us here in just a minute on plan design some examples but the biggest mistake agents make is they figure out well gee if the cost of care is 94,000 a year I have to show a plan that covers 94,000 a year and a whole separate presentation that we have on on helping agents to understand how to actually uh, have the interview and go through that process is understanding also that you're not trying to 
you know, insure a hundred percent of the risk. It's it just, it's impossible. I mean, we're going to show you plans today where you, where we can design the perfect plan, but that perfect plan is going to carry with it the perfect premium. And, um, and you may not be in front of that perfect prospect to actually make that happen. So Tom, I don't know if you have any, anything more on the cost of care, but I know that you, you want to give some good examples before we actually get into to showing um, uh, other aspects of plan design, just how robust these plans can be on the uh, extended care side. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Thanks, Dan. And one of the things I want to make sure we understand as we go into this, like Dennis alluded to, is that you don't have to cover every cost in there, like he said. Uh, remember, these are indemnity plans. So all on these portfolio policies that we're using, uh, their portfolio, their indemnity, excuse me. So remember for a home health aid, for example, I think that's probably a three hour home health aid example down there. And the costs will vary wherever we are in the States, of course. But these plans, whatever your daily benefit is in any given day, it'll pay that amount. And so remember, no worry about coordination of covers. They'll pay regardless of other insurance out there. And secondly, whatever your plan is willing to pay, it'll pay that amount for that day if you need help. So if, it, if it's less, you, you have some extra bankable money to put in your account and keep for a rainy day. So that's the biggest part I want to put through. And the second thing is, remember when I did my introduction, I talked about the fact that we don't call, we don't sell nursing home insurance, right? People buy this. A lot of it's, uh, if you get into our sales talks, you talk psychological and how to get the people feeling comfortable on an emotional and logical level. And one of the things we say is we don't sell nursing home insurance and also even short-term care. Uh, I have to spend a minute here because a lot of agents are confused and I guarantee you a lot of your consumers are confused because long-term care is a defined policy, right? Long-term care is something that these uh, the federal government came out with for tax reasons and said, this is what we qualify or determine long-term care is uh, as a definition. So that's, it's gotta be at least two years of coverage for any given claim that's available for people for extended care. So when we talk short-term care, that was just kind of what the industry named these policies for lack of a better term. So some people, and there's a lot of really educated adults, I use my sister as an example, She's ran companies. She's very, very, very well off and has done a great job in the in America's market. But when she said, oh, you're designing some short-term care plans, that's pretty cool. Are those those little 90-day plans that cover you if you get out of the hospital for a few days? So she didn't understand the, the power that these plans have. And that's leading into this uh, next slide that I have. And this is, I'm using Omniflex as an example in, in this, but I, all these plans work the same. And again, that leads me, I'm just on a roll here with uh, connecting all the dots, Dennis. No matter what plan you offer anybody, we're doing a service for your clients. So remember that the, the biggest ability of these plans, their availability. So we're gonna talk a lot about that is find out what state they're in and what plans are available. And then secondly, find out if you can get through the underwriting, that's the second part. And, and again, it's real simple. We'll show you in the sales process how easy that is to do using our tools. But at the end of the day, whatever plan you design for somebody, you're doing them a great service. And this plan, I'm just trying to show you, tell your clients, say, these plans are really powerful. Don't let the word short-term care confuse you because these policies, they come in a lot of times for little short claims, but they can be really powerful if I'd like them to be. And again, I'll steer back around and Dennis will remind you that we can use the flexibility of the plans to design tiny little plans that'll really be affordable for absolutely anybody but I'm just showing an example of the robustness with this slide. So if I were to take a plan, and this is just using Omniflex, some of the plans have $500 per day available for facility, but here's a $400 per day. Remember that's $12,000 a month, that's a lot. And if I sold a 360 day plan, which is one of our most popular benefit periods, that's off $144,000 just for one claim at the facility level. And that's without adding inflation that I'll talk about later. With restoration, we have whole training sessions on how res restoration is so important with short-term care plans. I won't get into that today, but for the policy limit, you could have twice that amount, 288000 potentially. And we don't stop there, do we? Because these policies have either a home health care base like uh, uh, Wellaby, then have a facility rider, or like Omniflex and the other plans, they have a facility base with a home health care rider. But regardless, almost always they're sold together. 
And with the home health care, even without inflation, we can sell $300 per day with the Omniflex plan, for example, and that's $9,000 per month, potentially, if somebody used it every day. So very powerful there, $108,000 for a 360-day plan. Remember, again, indemnity benefits, whatever the actual charges are, you get the full 300 in this example. And if you don't have it every single day, it stretches far beyond the 360-day calendar year. It, it, would, it could last for quite a while because it's 360 days you actually get care. So 108 grand. And with restoration, that doubles. But the slide I want to show you is down at the bottom. These policies do go up to a two-year claim potentially, right? And we call that the progression of care. A lot of times somebody might start at home. Uh, they take care of the people at home as long as they can. Then they get worse or they get to the point they just can't do it anymore. And they go into a facility. So it doesn't happen every claim, of course. But you could have 360 days of home care and then 360 of facility or vice versa, right? So $252,000 potentially for one claim right? With restoration, that could double to be over half a million dollars. That's a powerful policy. And I'm going to go through really quick, so you're drinking out of a fire hose here. But if I throw inflation on there, some of these plans have inflation protection in them. And with this plan with Omniflex, it's a simple until it doubles, simple inflation that you could add on. So instead of that $400 per day, you can get 800 bucks per day or $24,000 a month for facility. That's 288 grand for one claim. If I put inflation on there in the home care, 600 bucks a month, so potentially $18,000 in a given month, but more importantly, $216,000 for one claim potentially. You add those together down the very bottom down here, maybe I'll use my, my mouse. If you add those two together and somebody were to go on the full claim for home care and facility, again, doesn't happen every time, but that's a powerful plan. That's a half million dollars potentially coverage with this plan as an indemnity benefit. And again, with restoration, there's where you get that million dollar mark. So those are powerful plans. And I, I think I'd throw in a little marketing here for a 55 year old in Iowa, for example, these plans don't break the bank. This plan, Iowa, age 55, you'd have $91. I did it again, Dennis, where I didn't look up my 65 year old grade. I know a lot of folks on the call might work with Medicare age. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, but I think it was like 193 or something a month. That sounds, that sounds about right, Tom. Yeah. Uh, you know, but, Go ahead, Dennis. No, I was going to say, <clears throat> regardless of, of whether it's $100 or $200, you know, the, the amount of leverage that you're creating is a pretty big bang for the buck. So um, this is a far, in contrasting, not that we're giving a discussion here, uh, it's on plan design, but if you if you contrast it with other alternative solutions, um, in addition to whether or not the client could actually get the policy, uh, there are significant savings with these extended care plans. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'll bring that up later on. One of our examples, Dennis, we'll talk about with uh, long-term care, even how it can be so strong. So, uh, and, and a couple points there really quick, I'm going to jump in and, and uh, uh, I don't want to monopolize all the time for Dennis, but Remember, that's the far extreme on the right, right? We can go out with really robust plans with any of these policies out there with the with the full-blown short-term care plans. And on the switch side, we can leverage them down and get very, 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 very affordable plans using some of these other plans and, and different plan designs, even in the short-term care plans. But again, I'll let Dennis maybe talk about the InstaPivot tool for just a minute. We're not going to go into a full training on it. But at the end of the day, remember, folks, the ability of these plans, kind of like the, the coaches always say, your best ability is your availability. So we need them in the state, and then we need to make sure we can get them through the underwriting. And that's a huge part of this. As most of you know, long-term care, very difficult. Once you're 65, boy, a lot of people can't get it. But even these short-term care plans have subtle differences. So, Dennis, I'll let you talk about this, and maybe I'll go into the apps and show people a different way they could do it as well, if that's okay. Yeah, uh, uh, no doubt, Tom. This is a this this tool actually started out to be a tool that Tom uh, built on Excel uh, spreadsheet to help uh, him to get smarter in helping us to understand the underwriting questions on every application. So. This is a tool, and we'll show you later uh, at the end of the webinar where, where how to get availability uh, for this underwriting tool. But it really is very powerful, and and we know that many on this call are not specialists in this particular area. So you need to have 
a, a go-to, a, a, a one-stop source. And that's what this underwriting tool is because you can actually just put in the medication, you can uh, put in the condition and, and uh, as Tom indicated about state availability, and it'll just help you to get smarter. And you may or may not use this necessarily point of sale, but you can certainly use it in advance of the actual interview when you're getting the plan uh, design recommendations ready to go with the client so that you're not leading too soon. That's a big challenge that we have in today's marketplace is people get really excited and they want to go out and they want to lead with a particular carrier and it, it may not be available uh, in that state and it also may not fit from an underwriting standpoint. So this is just something again that uh, will, will help you. And, and again, these are not exhaustive as it relates to other alternative uh, um, uh, products in the LTC and, and asset-based hybrid space with, that have a lot more complex underwriting. They're very simple, but you still need to know kind of the rules of the road. And and I think as Tom's going to share with us right now, he'll give us kind of an app description so you can kind of see, again, that these are not lengthy, lengthy applications. It's it's uh, it's not a one-pager, but it's, it's certainly uh, only a handful of pages and really all the underwriting is typically on one one page uh, uh, in comparison to, again, other alternatives. Absolutely, yep. And that's, that's like I said, the InstaPivot tool, if you don't want to use it, that's fine. All this is, when you see in this left-hand column here, this is just a screenshot, so I can't get into it too deep. But all this is, is every single question that they'd ask are in the underwriting guides for these different products. So you can do a search up here and make it really quick and find out whether a certain policy would accept it. You can even put the state in here, which agents love, so you can find out which, which products are available in which state. And even medications. we got over a thousand different medications in here, and you can go in and put in different meds that your clients may be on and find out which policies will take them. So love the tool. Uh, some of you may not get into it. We know how agents are. Uh, a lot of agents might just find one of their favorite pro policies. Maybe they wrote a lot of med subs for Medico or a lot of med subs for, for uh, Manhattan Life, or they just like the GTL product because they've used that a lot. So some of you might just open up. This is just a screenshot of the application. And just to show you, number one, like Dennis said, how simple these apps are. I'm not going to read all this to you, so don't panic. But just to show you how simple the process is, a lot of agents, especially Medicare agents, might say, you know, I have kind of my favorite go-to for most of the states that it's available in. And whether I'm not trying to stick out Omniflex here, I'm just trying to show you for an example. But if you say Omniflex, the one I go to most of the time, you can talk to your clients and you may already know because you've worked with your clients before and have a good idea of their health. But this will show you a quick way to say, you know, by the way, and if you go to our sales training, it's a real simple start the conversation, very easy to get the conversation going and have them leading in. But once you do that, then you say, I got to make sure you buy these nowadays more with your health than you do almost with your checkbook. So I just got to find out health wise if we're OK. I, I, I'm i sure I've talked to you before. You don't have AIDS or any of the problems with the AIDS or HIV. And then you go through. You're not on disability, et cetera. This is knockouts for Omniflex, by the way. Very broad topics. Right. Then the cancers are the one that some people might have cancer you didn't know about. But otherwise. You can find out real quickly if they're going to get through and get some type of care from Omniflex, for example. And then this is the second part of our two-tiered underwriting. If you go to our Omniflex training, you'll hear we can throw the net pretty wide with Omniflex because these are not knockouts. These are just finding out if you get a limited plan or a full plan. And again, pretty big ticket items here. So you can go through and do it on the app and find out what kind of coverage they'll get. I'm not even filling out the app. I'm just talking to my client and having a conversation, as you'll find out in the sales sales uh, webinars we do. Uh, and again, this is just to show maybe you're using Wellaby and say, Wellaby's got two-tiered underwriting too, and you can find out doing the same thing. I won't, won't waste the time here reading through again and explaining it all. But if you go to our Wellaby training, you'll see it's very simple very simple questions, very broad topics. And and with the two-tiered underwriting, I do give a little extra credit to Wellaby and, and and Omniflex because we do they do throw the net a little bit wider than what you can do even with GTL. GTL has been a standard in the industry and their underwriting is very lenient compared to long-term care, of course, as well. So that's basically, again, I don't want to spend a lot of time reading on the app, but some agents use the app, some agents use the InstaPivot tool. All we're trying to do is steer you towards designing a plan. And look, we spent over half our time just talking about 
availability state-wise and availability underwriting wise. And why do we love those home healthcare only plans so much, Dennis? Because we know true freedom is basically a go-to. You can get just about anybody who's not receiving care right now in all 50 states. So you have a nice backup plan with true freedom, no matter what. And by the way, we have a training on true freedom today. If you can jump on it, I recommend it if you're not familiar. But secondly, those home healthcare only plans, we've got GTLs and we've got the home healthcare for Manhattan life. Those are great because they throw the net super wide. There's only like two questions on those or three questions max on those plans. And those throw the net so wide. I didn't put them on here, but I do want you to know those home health care only plans are just terrific uh, for people as an option if they can't get the full blown short term care plans as well. Dennis, I'm going to let you jump in there and, and maybe even. If, if that's okay, handle this one. Sure, absolutely, Tom. Yeah, I mean, it really is. Again, coming back to you know plan design, we can we can teach you design the plans, but you got to make sure you're checking those other boxes and and doing the pre screening uh, because you want to make sure that when you do lead, that you're leading with the right solution. And I would just encourage you that you know it's easy to get carried away and wanting to show clients an exhaustive list of of uh, of options, but as many of you know who are, who've been in sales for some time, it's best to to limit the offering. So all we're trying to show you here is just an example of, uh, and we just gave it a name, Classic Premier Ultimate, just to, you could call it good, better, best, but just to kind of give you, so that if you're going into an interview and if you have this uh, available to you, it will be kind of a cheat sheet uh, because you know if you're working with a 63-year-old that that range or that premium for the Classic is going to be anywhere from the thirty-seven to fifty-five uh, dollars a month. Absolutely. Uh, so keep that in mind, you know, as you look, and, and we're and we're writing people all the way up uh, past eighty. Remember, these policies typically go up to age eighty-five or eighty-nine. And so, again, hundred dollars a day for facility and home care. And Tom, I think we used a zero-day elimination for both, right? You have that listed at the bottom of the yeah. The yep. I put it there because I forgot what it was after I designed it a while back. And it, so it is zero day on both sides for this one, for the facility and the home care. Yeah. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to really find out the budget. I mean, the, the budget, it, you know, back to what Tom said, and we have a whole, uh, on starting the conversation, dialogue about how, again, to balance uh, logic and emotion. But you can see the range of the 37 a month all the way up to 129, or if you're Working with that 70-year-old, it would be 85 all the way up to 305. I would worry less about, I mean, yes, there's some people that you're going to work with who've had experiences and therefore they want the most robust coverage. But a lot of times today, we're just trying to be problem solvers. Remember, we're trying to give people peace of mind. We're trying to give them, in some cases, some coverage, uh, knowing that they have assets and other resources that may pick up some of that additional cost. And but it does start with the budget and it's really important. And I would also encourage you as we go through, and we're gonna show you a couple of case studies that you talk in a vocabulary that your clients will understand. Sometimes as agents, we tend to use words that are industry terms uh, because we're so used to it. And, and we don't realize that when we're in front of a client, they don't know things like elimination period. Uh, they don't know things like benefit period. And so we can, we like to break it down and make it even easier by using words like, well, how much? How much do you think you would like? We know the cost of care is X, and you've seen that slide that shows the cost of care, but how much coverage do you think that you would actually need? Oh, $100 a day? Okay, great. And we know on, on how long, which is another term that we like to use, that Tom explained earlier about the difference between long-term care and short-term care the minimum of a two-year benefit with long-term care and, and these extended care plans have a one-year with the option based on restoration to take it to two years. So you say, hey, we're only concerned about making sure that your most of the claims today are, are short. Yes, there could be situations that someone gets Alzheimer's and has a 10-year, a but you're probably most concerned about making sure you've got some coverage and for just a certain period of time to make sure that we can keep affordability. And then you go back and you talk to them about how soon, and you talk about how soon being the elimination or deductible or waiting period. You know, use a terminology that they're familiar with because when they're familiar with those words, they know like in their auto insurance what their deductible is. They may know 
uh, that within their um, health insurance as well. So waiting period, deductible, elimination is just a, uh, that's an industry uh, term and, and I would just move away from that. And then Tom talked about earlier and given that how to pack the, how these plans pack a punch about inflation and say, listen, we've got two different strategies here. We can either give you as, as in the ultimate example, up to $400 a day and $300 a day, we, we can max out your plan and give you really all your benefit up front, or we could dial it back with a hundred or $200 example and actually add inflation. Now we didn't add inflation to these particular rates and it does move the rates up, but inflation does also help them to know that their plan will grow over time. And so do you feel comfortable that we're actually taking care of this? So part of it is when you're talking to people, you're talking to them just in conversation and you're not really trying to, to do anything other than gauge what I call the bookends, which is where what end of the spectrum are they on from a low end plan to a high end plan and then trying to find something in between. So whether or not you want to use three solutions here, uh, three different plan designs um, or one, but in some of the other training, I caution people and I say to, to the agents, uh, when it comes to making sure that you're, you're leading, remember multiplying words will divide attention, which means keep your presentation very simple and multiplying insurance options, having too many, will divide interest. So you want to make sure that, that, you know, within, you know, choose the carrier and you're choosing that carrier based on that instant pivot tool that we just talked about on who's going to take the case. And then you actually know that, Hey, I want to lead with Wallaby or I want to lead with GTL or I want to lead with Manhattan. And then within that, create your, your design and manage people's expectations. And so this is something that, we just want to give you, you could create your own cheat sheet uh, with each of the carriers if you want to have uh, an example of this yourself. But we're just trying to, to give you some guidance here. And then we now we want to focus in on some plan designs. And I know, Tom, I've been I've been uh, talking for a little bit of time, but maybe I should pick up on this next one and then have you take um, the other one after that, unless you want yep. to add to the discussion on the on the rates. Yep, absolutely. And just to make you guys feel comfortable, what Dennis just said was really valuable. Uh, we had one example with our, our soft launch that we did with short-term care. They didn't even do a screen share, you guys. They literally were just talking to people over the phone without showing any visuals. And they used this little three-tier approach. And of course, they didn't say, well, for a 65-year-old, Jim, I can give you $55 a month for this and fifty hundred and seven for this. What they did is they just used this as a guide in the background where they were looking at it as a hard copy or on their computer screen. And then they were saying, you know, we have a lot wide amount of benefits we can do use for you. And they use this just to steer the conversation and say, you know, we can go from a, a scaled down plan and we can stack these and get other plans, or we can sell you a really robust plan today. Let me ask you this from where you're sitting right now. This is it's necessary. We get some type of coverage in where are we think affordability for you and Jim, you know, if we were looking at like for yourself, for example, if we had a plan for like three thousand dollars a month that that covers a lot of the home care costs and part of the facility costs you know would you be able to afford something in that range you know and you can start talking ranges and it just opens a conversation so we can't spend a ton of time on that but i will tell you we have uh one of our agents in this call center a couple of them now have sold just about a hundred plus policies here so uh they've really done well just talking to people and explaining the situation without even visuals which most of you will screen share or have the visual in front of you to talk about it. So go ahead, Dennis, I'm going to let you take yeah, over. Tom, you know, thanks for bringing that up because, you know, I happened to do that training for that particular call center that I pulled Tom, uh, on actually a live visit uh, down to their facility. And then uh, Tom and I have subsequently uh, worked with them on some follow-up. And it's just been amazing to us how successful they've been because they've taken our coaching and, uh and we're now seeing one of them just this past week wrote 15 uh, standalone home health care in one week. So, you know, there is opportunity here. And then we're not saying today that you're going to change everything that you're doing and suddenly be, you know, totally on board with doing extended care and the standalone home health care. But it just tells you how if you have the right tools and if you have the right uh, uh, coaching, uh, how how easy this process is. And what Tom just said is really valuable and we've been amazed at uh 
the success that they've had. And some of you are are maybe doing face to face, so you you know the power of face to face is really strong. And some of you who are doing remote selling, but some of you may also be doing some over the phone, like like this particular group. This example here with David is just to show you again how you can uh, bring up this topic, even if you think clients are already have taken care of it. Uh, David actually purchased a long term care plan several years back. It was a ninety day elimination and really felt that he had kind of covered that risk and he was he was he was comfortable but when he had a situation where a family member was in an automobile accident and and, and David realized that you know his policy came with a 90 day elimination and Tom spoke about this a little earlier about that that gatekeeper if you will before you could actually trigger trigger benefits and so David because he knew knew that you handled uh, his medicare uh posed the question is there any any way by which you know he could mitigate or reduce what that out of pocket because if that was a facility at six seven eight nine thousand dollars a month uh, in ninety days that's that's some serious money even on the home care side with an average cost of four thousand a month might have been a twelve thousand dollar month out of pocket and so the point of this of this case study is to make sure that you know. Even when you're bringing up and starting that conversation, if you think the client is already taken care of, there still may be an opportunity. And this is to show you, to Tom's point earlier, about the other extreme of packing the punch, about how you can come in and create just a foundation policy. And so we're using OmniFlex for this example at $100 a day, and we have a benefit period of 90-day elimination, I mean, 90 days, because we're trying to help him satisfy that 90-day elimination. Um, and on the home care side, it's also a hundred dollars a day with a zero day. And Tom's going to show you here the whopping premium uh, for that is pretty ridiculously inexpensive—a total of about twenty-one dollars uh, uh, approximately a month. And so my point to you is: Could you imagine? You probably didn't sell that client that long-term care policy. There may be one of your Medicare clients, but they happen to have another agent that worked with them some years back to actually purchase it. And now you've though created a sale uh, of just creating some additional supplemental coverage that augments what they have with their long-term care. And I'd ask you this question. If you could help David in this situation, how many Davids are out there? How many other clients do you have who maybe bought long-term care and think they're completely taken care of and you can bring out the same concern that David had, which is how you can actually bridge the gap and give them some coverage. And, you know, and again, 90 day, $100 a day, that's, uh, Tom, you do the math, what's that, $9,000 uh, on the facility side and 9000 on the home care side uh, for $21 a month. That's, you know, that could certainly offset what that 90 day elimination could uh, uh, could cost that client. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Dan. And one of the things here, this is a facility and the home care. And, and again, to me, it doesn't matter what policy you're using to solve these problems. This happens to be Omniflex again. And, and like Dennis pointed out, notice it's $100. If you go to the Omniflex training, that means that's the tier two underwriting, the limited benefit plan even. So you could sell this to David, even if his health was really starting to turn the corner. And if you couldn't get the Omniflex, you could go over and pivot over. Wellaby, of course, would be a great option because they have home care only. And then the underwriting is fairly close to Omniflex, so maybe you could get that. Or we have the home health care only plans we talked about that would solve at least his home care elimination worries. Uh, not the facility, of course, but at least the home care worries. So lots of different options for you. Whatever we do, we're just, we had to pick one as we show these case examples. So uh, good job, Dennis, on that. Uh, because of time, I think we should jump. I'm going to go to Barbara and we have several of these and we're going to try to go through the last ones a little bit quicker because we spent a lot of time on setting up the need and we can help you with these as we go as well uh, as you get certain circumstances. But Barbara, Barb's a great example out there. This is one where we're using one of those robust policies that we talked about, right? Uh, she's getting a little bit older now. She's looking at it and she's saying, you know what? I don't know for sure at 65 if I can go through all the underwriting for traditional long-term care. I've heard some of my family and friends who had problems with it. I know I got a couple health issues, so I'm a little bit nervous. I don't think long-term care is in my picture. And maybe you help her get to that decision. But either way, in this example, again, we're just using a really strong plan design. 
and she can get through the underwriting. We can cover about you know 80 or 90 percent of those folks who couldn't get long-term care with these type of policies. So for this one, real quick, we're just jumping out to say a 65-year-old, $400 per day, do the math, $12,000 per month for the facility and $9,000 per month potentially for the home care. And with her, again, I think I can just jump over and show you, Barbara, quick enough. Uh, Barbara, with her on this one, sorry, Dennis, should have this teed up a little bit better. With this one, we're doing that full-blown plan. They have the, the ability to pay family members if you want. And we have the, the strong home care on both sides. And that look at that, $193 per month with that. So again, uh, a little bit higher than what you might the, than what we saw before, of course. The flexibility is still there to push this down if it's not affordable for Barbara. But don't kid yourself. We got her a plan getting her through easy underwriting and, you know, we buttered our bread with mutual. We sold over a billion dollars of long-term care over the years. And we sold a lot of mutual of Omaha. We helped design this plan. So we love mutual. But just to show you, here's Barbara in Michigan. And if she could get through the underwriting for long-term care with a similar policy, 250000 pool uh, for its one pool of money with this and $10,000 a month instead of 12 or nine, if you looked at that, 600 bucks a month if she could get through the underwriting. And again, this is 30 day elimination as opposed to 20 and, and a first day coverage on home care. So all I'm showing you here is not to bash mutual by any stretch, but showing you these policies, when I say they can be robust and they can be affordable, I'm not blowing smoke at you. These policies are very strong and they have a lot of kick to them if you need them to. So this is what the example on the far side uh, and Dennis, I'll turn it back over to you if you'd like, and, and you yeah. can add to Barbara or go to the Yeah, next. perfect. Uh, you know, Tom, I think that that Barbara example just shows you, again, how robust the plans are. And again, because Barbara's a female in the long-term care side, that gender-based pricing really hurts uh, hurts the females versus the unisex rates. Very quickly, because uh, I know we're running out of time, this just shows you an example of, of John, who happens to be uh, a younger buyer, but he's part of that sandwich generation, right, where... He's been caring for his aging parents, but at the same time, uh, raising kids of his own. All we're trying to show you, and this is a GTL example, is that if, if he would have selected $200 a day benefit for a 360-day benefit period with a 20-day elimination, and GTL is a little bit different. They don't have a, a daily benefit. It's a weekly benefit. So he selected $1,200 a week for the home care side for 52 weeks with a zero-day elimination. But we threw on because... John's younger, and remember that we want to make sure that his plan is going to keep up with the cost of care, so we added 5% compound inflation, and that means that his benefit's going to double, and Tom's showing us kind of the a la carte actual cost of each of the benefits, uh, but his benefit's going to double in approximately 15 years, and so you can see that the $200 a day was $34 a month, and look at that inflation. That's 5% compound, and some of you, again, are not are not, you don't eat, sleep, and drink this the way Tom and I do, but literally today we sell zero 5% compound in the traditional long-term care space. At best, we sell 3%. And in some cases, we're going all the way down to 1%. That is so affordable from an inflation standpoint. In fact, it's so affordable, we want to keep this a secret. We don't want GTL to, to suddenly realize that, man, that pricing of that inflation rider is absolutely so... Uh, so strong and you can go down and you can look again with the home care uh side of it the 46 dollars, and then uh, you add that policy fee which is a not a one time it's a continuous policy fee and that's the total premium so you know that may be a situation where you bumped into john because you were servicing uh, uh his parents who may have been 75 and they may be asked if there's anything that you could do for him so realize that these opportunities can be multi-generational. They're not just strictly the wheelhouse that you normally work in, which is the senior market. You may bump into referrals and other family members that are younger that they still want to plan ahead. And GTL, uh, in addition, has a, a one-time cash benefit, and they've got some great dig digital uh, or te te uh, technology um uh, plays in the in the caregiving with their, with their T-care, which we're not going to get into today. But just other resources are available. So Tom, back to you. And I know we're we're kind of bumping in 
against yep. our, our time frame here. So yeah, we got rolling a little too much. And I apologize about that. But if you want to stick around, obviously we'll finish up here because we will have this recorded as well. And we want to make sure your people can see it if they need to. But this is another example. And again, we we're showing a different policy. This is Wellaby this time. And a lot of the reason, again, is we're telling you that we don't, we can be agnostic practically on which product you use, but we do want to make sure, you know, try to use whatever's available. And this is a great example, actually, where um, where Wellaby, excuse me, really sticks out. Because here's Joseph, he had a TIA, you know, a little mini stroke 18 months ago. And having coverage for that, you know, the long-term care companies are running for the hills. And short-term care, if you used our InstaPivot tool in this example, we put this up there specifically for that reason. This is a great opportunity for Wellaby because you're going to see that we can get a limited plan with Omniflex up to $100 per day with a TIA. So that's great. We can't get the GTL, unfortunately, with the TIA. But with the Wellaby product, the one I'm showing you, you can get a little bit stronger limited benefit plan. So this is one of the beauties if you really want to embrace this and, and understand the difference in the policies. This would be a great example that Wellaby would be a really nice choice for you because in this example with that TIA, I could get you hundred bucks a day with Omniflex, but with Wellaby, I could do $150 per day on the home care. Remember, they start with a base home care plan and then you could put nursing facility on there for 250. Plus you could put inflation protection on there as well. So for this plan, you can get uh, inflation where you can't get that with Omniflex. So this turns out to be a much nicer plan for you. I don't think we have time to pull it up even, Dennis, because I, I probably don't have it primed. But just look at this. If you added up all these things for Joseph, it's 178 bucks a month. And that's if Joe is single and if it, male or female's unisex rates again. But if he was married and had a med sup, remember they have an extra discount with Wellaby for med subs if you have one, you'd save 18.3% off that premium. So it'd be about $146 a month instead of, of the the 178. So uh, just a quick example there where Wellaby, because of the bigger benefits, is a huge choice. And John would jump all over that one, or Joe would, I guess, in this case, right? So that's just one of the examples. Oh, there I put the 178 over in the corner. Okay. Yep. All right. That's great. Gene, Gene and Mary, you want to finish up with this one, Jen? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think in the interest of time, the most important thing is that one of the things that separates Wellaby. Uh, and we were helpful in, in uh, with the team at Wellaby of, 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 of bringing this to their attention about how important it is when you're uh, striving to get couples. We know that one of the big objections today is if uh, if one can get coverage and the other can't, they they tend to want to stay together and they'll say, well, if, if uh, John can't have it, then I don't want it either. And so the nice thing is, is that you can go in and you can, in this situation, um, if Gene was the one who was uninsurable, <clears throat> Mary was actually insurable, you could actually, again, whether it's the fully underwritten Essential Care Plus or the Essential Care, as Tom just il illustrated in uh, the previous example, you know, you could go in and uh, and get coverage for for Mary, and then John would able to, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Gene would would be able to, all these, all these names are starting to run together, Tom. Uh, Gene would be able to uh, take advantage of that limited benefit rider, which is um, only 180 days of coverage with a 90-day elimination. <clears throat> but again, as long as he wasn't receiving uh, care, um, he, could, he could actually get coverage. And so it's very, again, you need to have options and you need to understand the circumstances of the client and then determine and navigate where to go in your plan design. Absolutely. Yeah, and again, because of time today, we're not gonna get into this, but make sure you check out our other sales webinars. We can walk you through, because the biggest key we wanna show you is that this is much easier to do than you think. So uh, unless you wanna elaborate here, Dennis, I don't think we can get into, because of time, some of these different things that we talk about as a as just a summary or a, uh, a recap of how to start the conversation. But the key is we do have training on all that. And if you go to our site, I'm going to really quick just show you that site so you know it's there. If you go to the site, it's integritystc.com. You're going to see all the different things you need in sales and marketing. There's that Insta Pivot tool we talked about. So you can instantly find out uh, ahead of time or at the time of the appointment who can qualify. 
And then we have the sales and marketing and all the products down here before I jump over to sales and marketing, but all the different products for the comprehensive short-term care. And if I click into each one of these, it'll show a whole bevy of different things in there. Everything you'll need to be successful and learn about the product uh, or be able to present the product. And if we go to sales and marketing real quick, Dennis, I'm just going to roll here. Uh, if we go to sales and marketing, you can roll down, see some of those stats. But then all the sales and marketing material, different videos that you can have that'll help you out. Uh, and even up here, there's more training videos. And again, different marketing assets you can use as an agent to go out and help you. So got a lot of good things in there for you to check out and go to the marketer. Because like I said, uh, Dennis, we can come back to this. We need to. But the next step really is up to you. If you're not appointed with these carriers, get appointed. If you want to learn more about it, check out our webinars from the marketer who sent you to this one and make sure you jump on board for some of those sales webinars as well. So Dennis, go ahead and I'll let you finish her up. Yeah, and, and you will get a copy. The marketer gets a copy of the of, of all the slides and they'll disseminate that to you and check out again those recordings because uh, you know some of them are shorter. This is obviously a longer webinar, but we We've got some shorter uh, webinars, both our, on product specific as well as on uh, conceptual or, or taking a consultative approach. And so, again, simple, easy, and uh, your clients will thank you for being that resource. And uh, uh, we hope that you can join us on a future webinar. Um, again, we have one coming up this afternoon at 2 on the, the True Freedom. Uh, it's 2, 2 p.m. Eastern. And uh, uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, uh, and uh, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Have a good one. The next step is yours. Contact your marketer for more information and to start offering short-term care solutions to your clients. And be sure to sign up for our other short-term care hot topic webinars.